safety is a massive focus for us because the protection and the health and well-being of our people is at the very core of what we do. Visible leadership is a critical element of any type of vision. And our safety vision is obviously to have zero harm. Everybody goes home every day. So the Friday safety walk allows us to connect, to have those conversations. If I show interest in safety, then it's likely that the team that are working for me will show interest in safety. To assist with safety, we get everybody from workforce suggesting safety initiative to get as much as possible feedback what are the potential risks and find mitigation around those problems. So one of the key processes we've instituted within the joint venture to ensure the health, safety and well-being of our workforce is the methods planning process to ensure that the works are effectively planned and managed. It allows us to pictorially develop each step in the construction sequence of each high risk activity to develop a plan for the guys to follow on site. That's complemented by a series of risk workshops where the responsible persons are involved in identifying and assessing all of the risks specific to each high risk activity. I think the key to success in safety on any project is to continually innovate. So we have a really strong push on innovation from the workforce level up through management teams and through the parent companies. We've had a number of successful stories through those innovations and we started to see some fruition in terms of statistics and, and safety on the project. One of the key risks for the project is the amount of truck movements we have and public interface in particular. And Virtual Superintendent is a program or a, a geospatial database that actually looks at how we manage those trucks and those movements across all of Sydney. It looks at managing fatigue of the drivers. It also sends alerts around things like weather forecasts. So it's an overall view, overall picture of you know, how we can safely manage trucks on these projects. In our industry, there's a lot of rotation or, or picking up a precast element. And where we have a double wall situation, we have a rotating tool. So what that does is eliminates a second crane. You have two cranes in the job, so you've got a tower crane or you've got a mobile or two mobiles. It takes up a lot of real estate and the risk of people plant interaction is quite high. Where this one is located in a small area and it has reduced the risk of interaction with people at least by 95%. One crane does the whole rotation and it does it quite well. Black Steer is a proximity detection system, so it's utilising an engineering control as a defence mechanism to ensure persons are not exposed to the risk of being struck by a mobile plant. Through the implementation of the Black Steer system, we've had a significant near miss in the project. And I think without the Black Steer unit, there was potential fatality at the Black Steer innovation has potentially saved someone's life on this project. Each of the parent companies involved in the joint venture are very much invested in ensuring that we take these initiatives from this particular project, where they've been successfully developed and rolled out, and then ensuring that they're pushed out on future projects to provide us a, you know, a really strong base to work from in the future. Where the OFSC is of benefit to us here in the WestConnex project is that their accreditation system is really designed on driving repeatability and standardisation. So we've got the benefit of ensuring that all of the three sites within the project are operating to the same uniform standard. That standardisation, that uniformity, that repeatability, that provides us a differentiator. And it's a great forum to be able to share best practice with our peers within the industry.